What's time out? Like a show? Uh, your show? Yeah, you can try. Yeah, you can watch it. I mean, yeah, no, no, no. I know. I see. I see it like on Facebook. Like that's the. I think I do last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey guys, it's Olivia Hamlin. You're watching Time Out Zalgris. Hey Brock. Hey Brock. Hey Brock. So what's your most memorable Christmas moment? Uh, growing up each Christmas we'd uh, go to my grandma's place and one year we'd go to my dad's mom's and the uh, next year we'd go to my mom's mom's and our whole family would go there and we'd have to wait till the last person wakes up to uh, open all the presents. And when did you find out that Santa does not exist? I think I was maybe six or seven when I realized that all the presents from my parents and Santa had the same handwriting. Your family Christmas tradition, or the Australian Christmas tradition, I don't know. Uh, Stop saying that. Uh. <laughs> it's usually really hot on Christmas, so just have a big breakfast and then go for a swim or go to the beach, I guess. Kind of amazing <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> half English, half French. Yeah. That's my bad side. What's your most memorable Christmas moment? I would say, you know, when I was younger and I actually believed in, you know, Santa Claus and, you know, just waking up at, you know, midnight or something like that and getting ready and running downstairs and seeing all the presents, uh, I was always a pretty exciting moment for me. When did you figure out that Santa wasn't real? I think my older brother mentioned something when I was, I was probably around, you know, eight or nine and I, was, I still believed in him. and. Uh, I don't know, I was running downstairs and my brother was like, oh, I just saw mom uh, put the, the presents under the tree, so Santa Claus doesn't exist. So I was pretty bummed out. And your family traditions? Uh, so we have like a big family party, you know, every year. Uh, you know, around Christmas time, probably, you know, the 24th, where, you know, my whole family meets up together with my grandparents, cousins and everything like that. And we have, uh, you know, presents exchange. So it's probably like you know 50 people, then you know it's a pretty good night. We have food, a big a big dinner, and uh, you know everybody's together and everybody's enjoying uh, you know their company. Okay, so that's a big family you got there. Yeah, definitely a big family. Uh, and you know when I was younger and I was in Canada a lot more, you know uh, I never missed one. But you know these past few years I've been you know missing out on those family parties. Well, I hope you'll have a good one here. I will try. I will try. <laughs> No, I'm not going to say hey, right? Ian, what's your most memorable Christmas moment? Well, uh, in general as a family, until I was 18 years old, I was always going to England. My parents, uh, my grandparents lived there. And, uh, you know, my memorable, memorable Christmas moment is just going there every year. And I just uh, associate Christmas with uh, that. Okay, and when did you stop believing in Santa? Good question. I remember my grandfather once, uh, he dressed up as Santa and tried to like uh, trick us, but I kind of figured it out. So probably, I don't know, I have no idea how old I was, but you know, six, seven, eight, and I'm not sure. Could you tell us about your Christmas traditions, either Greek or English? Well, the Greek, uh, I think it's similar to the Lithuanian in the fact that they, it's more important the 24th Christmas Eve, you know, your family gets together, um, you know, has turkey I guess and uh, then Christmas Day is spent you know just out and about uh, where there is you know going for again you'll have some kind of you know family lunch but uh, mostly it's uh, with friends and uh, in England uh, it's, it's different uh, the 25th is more important I think it, uh, they have, you just eat a ton of food like you would anywhere you know uh, Brussels sprouts and uh, turkey and gravy and roast potatoes and all that stuff so it's all good stuff which I will miss unfortunately. Okay, and what are your plans for Christmas now? I'm gonna go back to Athens for a day and a half and it's gonna be a tight tight trip. I mean uh, we have the game tomorrow on the 27th so we go back 24th I get there in the afternoon come back the 26th in the, you know, in the morning so it'll be the express Christmas I guess. Okay, well I hope you have a good one. Thank you. Sven, 
Ačiū, kad žiūrėjote. Sužinojame, kaip karada švenčia mūsų legionieriai, na dabar laikas su patiems pašvesti. Nu, mes tiksime iš karto pašvenčiu gruodžio 30 dieną, kur Kauno Žalgiris arenoje susitiks su virtuorės ekipa ir pradėsime top 16 etapą. Na, jums vėlėjai gerų švenčių ir gerą polisą. Iki, su jumis buvo Time Out Žalgiris. Hey, dear Ulla. Yeah, I'll do it. Hey, Tom Al fans. Hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Joyeux Noël. Pretty much.